it only took one excavator and a water hose to demolish a longtime Stockton home. Stocktonians and neighbors of the Hardingway building tell us that demolition was not the best option. I think it's a shame. I know the owner of the place. Yeah, I've seen people try to break in. I've called the cops when it took them almost uh, 45 minutes to get out of here. I've seen a guy try to break in the front window there. I think there's a lot worse places in Stockton that uh, are eyesores. Uh, we have property next to us that uh, needs to be painted. There are properties that don't have um, the yards mode. You know, there's a lot of small things that could be taken care of without resulting in destruction. Although representatives with code enforcement in the city say that taking down the building was necessary. They need to get the permits, there's been liens on the home, and they didn't do that. So that's why in April we notified them with the intent to demolish the property. Yesterday the city attorney and code enforcement presented that case to a judge who signed off on the warrant that's leading to the residence being demolished today. As each portion of the home collapsed, more people gathered near the corner of Harding Way and Baker Street to share memories of the house that gained some popularity from longtime residents. They got brand new cabinets in there sitting on the living room floor. They're going to demolish. Never been put up. Plywood, two by fours. Look at all the windows and stuff. They could have taken them out and uh, sold that somebody was needed them. But what many passerbys did not see from the outside were the code violations inside, which court documents obtained by SCW News describe as against municipal code, health and safety code, and the California Building and Housing Code. There is exposed wiring. We found evidence of squatters inside the rooms because we found burnt items, burnt wood, papers, evidence of them burning narcotics. However, for many residents nearby, demolishing the unofficial landmark leaves more questions than answers. People who put all this effort into this, um, you know, they can't be happy about it. And you wonder now how long it's going to be a, a vacant lot. You know, what, what, what will happen next? Um, I assume it's going to stay zoned for residential, um, but, you know, I, I'm just not sure what their intentions are going forward. The Stockton Police Department tells me that this lot is still owned by the original homeowner who is deceased. They say that the family will have to go through the court in order to get this property under their name. Reporting in Stockton, Gabriel Porras, SCW News.